Hello and welcome back to Alps Panorama, the Northern Sea. And today, before I logged on, I checked the mod hub and there was a few new things. One of, or there's a few of them that were pretty awesome actually. I mean, I'm quite surprised that we got so many cool mods today. But the one that I think is going to fit our farm, that I want to try, I've never tried it before. Maybe you guys have if you played the, the older versions of Farming Simulator. But like I've stated, this is my first time, this is my first farming simulator, was this. I already looked at it. It's over here, I believe. So we got the bee house. Oh, and this is kind of cool, too. You got these placeable fill stations, and they're cheap. We had these ones before, but they're a little bit more expensive, the silos or tanks. But here, we got the bee house, the greenhouse with lettuce, and the greenhouse with tomatoes. And I think that we should get a bee house. I think we should put it right here. As close to here as we can get it. It's out of the way of harvesting and everything. So let's... How much is it going to cost? It's going to cost us 20000 We're going to put it right there. So now we're down to 27000 But oh my gosh, can you see the bees? Listen to him. That is so cool. I think it's awesome. We had to get a screenshot of it. Yeah, I think that was awesome. There was a, a few other mods. I can't really remember what ones they were. But yeah. We did get new mods today, and we got a bee house. It's very cool. It looks great over there. And yesterday, we left off with, uh, we were mowing this field, and it needs to be windrowed and, or tethered and windrowed, but as you can see, our other fields have become ready to harvest, so I'm thinking that what we should do first is start with that. So let's get our harvester going. We'll unfold the harvester on the way over there. And we're gonna lay the... I wonder if I need to turn my steering sensitivity down. It seems to be out of control right now that update here let's look at it let's try let's try 50% see if that's better yeah that seems better all of a sudden my tractor was going all over the place turning super sharp all right drop the header off and what I was gonna say is we're gonna we're gonna throw the swath of this oat on the ground and then we'll be able to pick it up with our new baler. Start getting a, some hay going. Or straw, my bad. Come on, Frecky. Get the words right. So let's just head down here, kinda by our bee house, our beekeeping hut. Oh that looks good there. I like it. That mod makes a great addition to the to the farm. Oh, gotta push the right button. I don't know what button it is on the PlayStation controller to enable the swath stuff, but I have to use the comma on my keyboard. So between this little field here and that field over there, we should get a pretty good chunk of. Or if but I guess not chunk, but a, quite a few bells. I'd imagine. That's what I'm hoping. And yesterday in the video I was looking and I was saying that our, our little Fint has enough horsepower to, to power the baler. But then I, when I said that, I completely spaced the fact that we have our case, which has plenty of horsepower. So it'll be that'll probably be the one we use for baling. The same, the same tractor we use for planting. I 
and we can't really plant on top of these fields until we bail everything up, so should go good. Man, that beehive, or that bee little bee hut looks great over there. I like how it has the multicolor boxes. That's good. And the little flowers hanging on the front. Very nice. We're going to have to get a greenhouse or two eventually. We'll probably end up, whoa, dang it, I should have backed up. I just spread that stuff all over the grass. But we'll probably end up getting rid of the pig area and putting down some greenhouses there. I think it would make a good spot for the greenhouses. We'll get one of each eventually. Maybe. I don't know. I could change my mind at any moment. Okay, guys, so when I get to the end of this build, remind me not to just drive out and, and throw this uh, straw all over our grass. I'm going to take some lessons from the AI and do the backing up thing. So, lift it and then back up. There we go. Much cleaner. Man, it sounds like my tractor's a lot, or my, not my tractor, my harvester sounds like it's a lot louder. Actually, one sec, let me see if my, I had my vehicle volume, where is it? Yeah, it's down at 40, it's still the same. I might have to turn it down, it might be a little too loud, it might be being louder than I am. Inside it's still nice and quiet. Just sounds really loud out here. I do like down at the bottom right of the screen where it shows you what kind of fruit type it is. I do like how it, instead of just showing the symbol, now it, it tells you what kind it is. I'm not quite sure if I'm a fan of the percentage, because I mean, I don't know. I guess I, I didn't really need. We have a graphical bar right there to show us the percent. But I guess any added detail or feature is pretty nice. I did notice that some people were actually getting a mod, like a third party mod that was telling them all this information. So I guess it helps out that way. It keeps people from having to go get another mod. And they just include it here in the base game. So I think as soon as we're done with this, before, well I guess what we could do is when we're done with this, we'll unload the oat, and then we're gonna empty it out. We'll empty the well, un oh, duh, that's what I just said. <laughs> we'll empty out the the oats, and then we're gonna head up to our canola field up there in the distance, and we'll just hire a worker. I know they don't do the best job in that field because it's misshapen, but I just want to hire the worker to start working on that while we are bailing up this uh, straw. And then whatever the worker misses, we'll go through and we'll get, we'll take care of ourselves. So that's the plan of attack today. And then to do the, um, the grass and to turn it into hay, I'm thinking that I'll either do that in a time lapse or I'll just, uh, I'll show you guys the beginning and then I'll cut out all the, the work in the middle and then I'll just show you guys the finished product haven't quite decided how to approach that yet because it's going to be a lot of work. I, not nearly as much work as mowing it was, but yeah. Don't think you guys really want to sit and watch me do circles over and over and over again. Man, we're getting a lot more uh, straw than I thought we were going to get right here. Hopefully we get quite a few bells. And then with all this oat, we should have plenty for our horses, so they're stockpiled up on oats. But then again, I don't really know if... Do the horses eat the oats if they have hay? It looks like it. Yeah, oats give them 60% and hay gives them the extra 40. So yeah, it must be a pretty good staple of their diet.
so it's a good thing we're going to have plenty of it. And we're almost done, just this last little strip. And we'll just park, once we empty the harvester, oh yeah, we're going to take it up. I was going to say we'll park it next to the other outfield, but we already have a plan. Brecky, come on. Put change in your mind. Yeah, I like. I was just thinking that if I liked where I put the beehive place, the bee hut, I do. I think it's good. I don't know where else we could have put it. It's out of the way. That's all that matters. All right. So, whoa, my bird's yelling at me. All right. So we'll just leave this here. We'll leave it running because we're gonna move it here in just a second. We just gotta go grab a tractor. Any tractor will do. Actually, we better grab the one with the most horsepower. Well, the fence with the most most horsepower. If we grab that one, it probably struggle even harder than this one does. So, come over here, grab this trailer. Yeah, it seems like my tractors are a lot louder. I'm gonna turn them down, guys. I don't want to crowd out my voice with the tractor sounds. So give me one second here. We'll just turn it down to 30, see how that helps. Just a little lower. That sounds a little bit better. Alright, hop back in here. So when it's done unloading, we can take it up to start. That field is ready, right? I believe so. If I remember right. Yeah, it's ready. It's all ready. And this field does not need lime, right? I don't think so. Looks like it. Yeah. It's not ready for lime yet. Alright. Let's run this harvester up real quick. I still think the zigzags look cool in the field. It must be just the angle that these fields are at. But it seems like every single one of them get that zigzag in it. Alright, so... This guy's gonna start really funny. We're just gonna watch him for a minute. Hopefully they can manage this. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm, what is he doing? Okay then. Really? I'm trying to figure out what, what on earth they're doing. They're gonna turn around, okay, they're gonna turn around that way. Alright, so we'll just teleport back over to our vent. Let's go empty it out. And then we'll grab our case and our bailer. Whoops, I dropped the weight. My bad. There we go. This will be our first use of our brand new baler. And yes, it is round. I wonder how many bells we're going to get. Probably a few. 
we're not going to get like 150 like I'm used to on Michigan farms, but we're going to get quite a few. Especially when we get that field done too. Should get us quite a bit of bells. And then our grass field, I don't even know how much that's going to give us. I think it's going to give us enough that we don't, won't, whoops, pay attention Fricky. That we won't even need to uh, worry about actually planting grass in there. If we come to a point where we need more bells, then we can always plow that up and plant gra actual grass in there. But with all the grass that's on the ground right now, I think we're going to be good. This isn't so bad. It's filling up pretty quick. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about in the previous episode. This is the only real drawback besides the stackability of the bells that I can see with the round baler is that when it's full like that you have to stop to unload the bale. Which isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, it does. I imagine it does take if you add up all the time you spend stopping and unloading the bell, then I guess it could be a bit of a drawback, but nothing too big. Especially since it comes with the, the bell wrapper, so it's kind of a win-lose situation. Is that like a little bit, can we pick this a little bit of straw up? Might as well clean it up, huh? Let's grab this little bit here. There we go. Alright. Now this pile here. Of course it filled it up. Unload that one there. Continue on our way. Yeah, this, this tractor seems to have plenty of horsepower. I think even when we, if we get, do some straw, or when we start getting the grass up there on that big field, on our big grass field, I think even going up the hill, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's pulling real good. We're, all, we're pretty broke though. We only have $27,000 right now. We're definitely going to need to sell some stuff or do some major contract work. But we'll worry about that another day. For right now, let's just worry about getting our bells ready. Plus, we got to buy a brand new bee house thing. How cool is that? I wonder how much money we're going to get from that. I wonder if you get paid every day for it. I wonder how that works. It's all new to me. I doubt we'll get very much. It just looks cool. Especially when you go over near it and all the bees are flying around. That's one feature I did not expect. Yeah, we got quite a few bells from here. That's nice. Way more than I thought we were going to get, honestly. I thought we'd maybe get like five, four or five bells. Once we bail up that other field, it's going to give us even more bells. And we'll be good. We'll be set for a minute. Because I think when you make a total mix ration, you only need uh, one straw bale. And then two hay bales and one uh, silage bale. And there we go. Let's turn that off. 
We'll go load. We'll go uh, park this back up under the parking area and grab our bell trailer. And then what's going to be the next part that's going to be difficult is figuring out where we're going to put them. Hmm. Let me just have a look. If we move. Hmm. I think we'll put them in here. So what we'll do is we'll move the mower over here in front of the weeder because we're not going to really use this weeder much. And we'll move the cultivator. See if we can't move this plow here. We'll, we'll, we'll see here in just one second. Let's just worry about this first. Just trying to plan ahead. But we might as well just get it done instead of making a plan out of it. If Frecky can back this up good without tearing apart the awning or the trailer. So before we uh, start picking up the bales, we better get a spot for them to go. And I'm thinking, like I said, if we move this, hopefully this works. If we move this over here in front of the weeder push that weeder back a little bit and then let's move the plow over a little bit actually you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna well yeah we can leave the plow under here especially if we can move it just enough out of the way for the cultivator to fit. That should be good. I think even Frecky can fit the cultivator in that spot. We're just going to keep the cultivator cause, and the plow because you never know when we're going to need it. Especially if we decide to plow something up. Or if we decide to start doing root crops then you have to cultivate after every harvest so it's better to keep them so we don't have to buy them later that should be good and then my only other question is when this stands up is it gonna fit underneath here I guess there's only one way to find out right oh no we're gonna have to go empty that canola guy real quick before we start. So let's just uh, turn that tractor off. Let's go grab this guy and head over to our harvester. He's getting full of canola. Yeah, I like that. Seeing that little bee hut, the bee house hut thingy. I like that. Looks good. Brings a little more life to the farm. I think I need to turn down that steering sensitivity a little more. It's still real squirrely on the front end. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It's going to be going the perfect way for the auger to shoot the canola right into our trailer. See, yeah, the worker does a pretty good job. He just misses bits and pieces here and there. Which is not too bad. Can't complain. How much is Conola selling for right now? It is selling for, well, 2000 That's not bad at all. I think that's a pretty good price. How much do we have in storage? Oh, just a teeny. Teeny little bit. That's alright. We should get a full trailer from this harvest. And then once it's full, we'll go sell it. 
make what we can. And then if there's any extra, we can keep throwing that in our silo. Man, is he ever going to empty out? What's going on here? Seriously. How full was that thing? Is he picking it up as fast as he's spitting it out or something? What's going on here? Hold on. Oh yeah, instead of showing an interruption like how the, the grain would stop flowing, it just flows constantly. That's nice. I wonder if that's new. Or if it was just because it's canola. Alright. Well, he's empty, so we have time. Oh, better lift this up. I don't know if we could fit outside the gate here. Alright, now we'll lower it down. We'll start picking stuff up from over here. So this can hold eight bells, right? I believe. Yeah, 25% at two, so yes, it can hold eight bells, Frecky. Good, you can do math. Basic math, but hey, you still did it. Oh dang, we're gonna have one extra bell. Seven, eight. All right. Now comes the ultimate test. Will these bells fit underneath our little parking area? And then this way when we get our total mixed ration vehicle thing, little mixer wagon, we can just grab the stuff from here do all the loading of it here in this big big area where we have plenty of room to work and drive it over to the cows which are just right there not very far so let's see if we lift this up is it gonna fit oh I think so I think it's gonna fit beautifully we might even build a back it all the way up to that wall very nice on that on the square oh my god cats On the square baler, it uh, hit the roof and like threw my tractor for a loop. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Now he's going to go grab one more bail. And I think we're just going to put that bail in a separate area so that we can keep stacking big stacks of straw right there and this one single bell isn't in the way for a whole nother stack of eight you'll see what I mean when we get over here yeah let's let's raise this up while we're driving and we'll put the loose bale on the other side just up here and we can grab it first Just like this. See, so what I'm thinking is this one can be for hay or straw. This one can be for hay. And then I guess we can use this one for silage. Even though this jack always moves. Wow. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that, Frecky. Okay, so that's out of the way. Let's put this back where it goes for now, until we need it, which should be here shortly. There we go. And while we wait, we will hook this back up, and we'll grab our fertilizer spreader and go fertilize that little field that we just harvested while our worker continues to plow away at those uh canola
Yeah, the tractor sounds have definitely changed. I don't know if they've changed, but they've gotten louder. Sounds like you can hear the turbo in this tractor a little bit more than you used to be able to. The whistle sound. Very nice. Oh no, Frecky. Look what I did. Pulled a classic Frecky. You see this? You might not be able to see it, but I missed a strip. Starting about right here. Yep. Missed it. Overconfident. Alright. This should be good. Yeah, there we go. Not missing anything. Oh, we just paid a wage payment. 199 bucks. We're gonna go broke with prices like that. Just kidding. But we are under 27,000 now. Dang. We have to make some money pronto. So I'm thinking, I don't know, what should we put in here? Should we put canola or should we put soybeans? Hmm. Or should we put something else that we haven't done yet? I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to leave this fertilizer spreader down here. We're not going to park it where it normally goes. We'll just park it right here behind the, behind the cedar. And let's make up our mind. Oh, dang, we might need to go buy some more seeds, huh? Wheat, barley, oat, canola, soybeans, oilseed radish, grass. Hmm. That's just a little field. We don't have chickens. We have plenty of oats now. I'll just do soybeans because it's a little filled. A little filled, and the soybeans have usually the highest amount of profit, so I think that makes the most sense. I need to wash this thing. I don't think we've washed it since we own it. Or since we bought this planter. Cedar. Thingy. So yeah, after we plant this field, we'll probably need to go grab uh, some more seeds. Because the next field we're going to need to seed is our big one out there. And I don't think a thousand seeds would be enough. I think it will need a little more than that. I know that we did just get the placeable fill stations for seeds and all that, but the seeing how the shop is just right there, we'll, we're going to save our money for a while. Maybe eventually we'll look into buying those placeables. But for right now, we can just keep heading to the shop. It's not too far. And yeah, I don't know. Just makes more sense at the moment. Man, I can't get over how cool that little bee shack looks. I'm really interested to see the amount of income we're going to get from it. Even if we don't get much, it adds a lot of character to the farm. It'd be real cool if we had some flowers around here to look like it was they were going to pollinate the flowers. I guess if we, we could have planted canola, then we'd have yellow canola flowers. Dang, Frecky, what were you thinking? That's what we're going to have to do from now on, guys. Just for the bees.
We missed a little spot back here to back up. Realign. Here we go. That should get it. Yeah, that's taken care of. I haven't seen a notification coming up telling me that the harvester's almost full yet. Watch, he's probably up there full just sitting there. You can't see him moving around in the distance back there. We're gonna have to go check on that here in just a second. We'll finish this build first though. Then we're gonna have to come back with a second layer of fertilizer. Dang, I forgot about that. Should have left the fertilizer spreader out here. I see the tractor way out there in the distance. Just looking for that harvester. He must be sitting still. When we get this section done, we're gonna this uh strip done, we're gonna go check on him real quick. Teleport over to him. Oh, he's full. That just wasn't paying attention. Classic Frecky moves. There we go. We'll just leave them to it. They can handle the rest. And we'll get back to doing this. Maybe Frecky can turn around. There we go. Oh, what the heck's going on here, dude? Oh, I need to lower it. I lifted it. <laughs> it's not going to do much good if it's hanging above the ground. Man, I'd so buy field one if it wasn't such an awkward shape. I guess if we bought it, I don't know, it's still an awkward shape. Not any more awkward than our big field that we got going on out there, though, I guess. So maybe eventually we'll buy it. But then again, like I stated earlier, I don't want to buy all the land that is already plowed because then we lose contracts. And field four and field five are really good for contracts. Who put the tree there, really? Alright, just this last little strip. And when we're done with that, we're going to teleport back over to our fence that's hauling grain. We're probably going to have to go empty it out because I don't think it's going to have enough room in it for another load. Let's just go park this back up. Actually, we're going to park it over here. It needs a wash. Alright, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty full. It's 86% full. In all reality, it might be able to hold the rest, but I don't want to have to go empty it just to come back and get another thousand liters so we'll just empty it real quick look at all this grass is grass growing back in is that what's going on here it is so we're having grass grow we could I wonder if we could do that I wonder if you could uh, let this grass grow back to like this come through with a mower again and get even more grass out of it I wonder if that's a thing like then you'd have like two layers of grass combined together I don't know might have to try that sometime whoa we don't have a weight on the front it's real squirrely I think we're definitely gonna need to invest in another weight
or Frecky's just gonna have to learn how to take corners a little slower. One or the other. Okay, while that empties out, we're gonna wash this tractor off. Or at least the, the cedar. It's a, it's well deserving of a bath, man. It's made us quite a bit of money. Well, we don't have to worry about the tractor too much. Really just want to get this nice and clean. We'll look over it, see if you see any paint chips. So you can tell if it needs to be repaired. But it looks pretty good. Pretty sure we repaired it not too long ago. We just didn't wash it. Alright. Let's take this back up to the harvester. Well, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how much the worker has actually done. Better than I thought they would. Just missed a few bits right there. Well, let's go. Let's go take a look. Just missed this little section here, which we can come back and grab no problem. And this little section here. They're not done with over there yet, so who knows how much they're gonna miss over there. And then just that little blip right here just a little teeny bit not even really worth grabbing we'll come grab it just because but yeah all right so let's leave this tractor right here whoa look at this guy backing up all righty we'll go back into our fertilizer spreader Let's not bang it into the pole. And then we can apply our second stage of fertilizer here on this field. There we go. Move, birds. You know, I have to say I'm surprised that that field's not ready yet. On the next time we grow these fields, I'm going to try not to let the weeds grow in. I hate that. It takes away from your income. They do look good, though. I like the little flowers. Hey, let's just say that the bees are happy with the weeds in there. Because of the flowers. Man, that guy's getting paid 200 bucks an hour. That's incredible. A highly paid employee, but they're happy. There we go. All fertilized. What we'll do now is we'll go drop this back off. And we will take over for our harvester. But we're going to put this uh, over here in its spot. We're not going to need it today, I don't think. Alright, teleport, magic. Oh, we can't take over right now because if I take over, then I'll, des I'll destroy all that crop that the guy's on. Alright, now we can. Try to grab all this. Worker was gonna miss some of it. So yeah, the um, canola does produce more because this canola has more than the soybeans. You get more liters, is what I'm trying to say. But the this canola field was a good chunk of it still had weeds in it. 
which takes away from your yield, so the amount of liters that you get overall. And the soybean field that we had, just the la just last time we had this field planted was, was soybean, and we got almost, I mean, it was spot on practically. We got one full grain trailer with the entire field harvested, and that was with zero weeds and full fertilization. And so far, there's no way we would have got, there's no, if I would, even if I wouldn't have emptied our grain trailer already, we wouldn't have been able to fit all of this into that grain trailer. Because if you look down there, we're already at 7,215 liters and growing. And so, yeah, we wouldn't have fit it. So I'd say we got like a, I don't know the exact math. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could do the math in the editing when I edit the video. But from just a quick estimation, it looks like we got a good, I'm going to say after everything's said and done, but we got seven to 8,000 more liters of canola than we did a soybean. So, yeah. And then I know if we were to do wheat, that we would have got way more liters of that. You get so much liters of wheat, it's incredible. It's like you're constantly emptying your harvester. No matter how big your harvester is, that thing just fills up quick. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little circle around the edge of the field here. So we're going to get that little bit, we're going to grab this little bit, and the, the harvester is 93% full. Hopefully we can fit all the rest in here. Let's try it. It's a challenge. I know these little bits probably aren't even worth getting, but we might as well. So we have these two little strips right here, the one by this tree and the one up there by that tree. And then at the very top right of the field, we have just a little bit more. I think our harvest is going to hold it. Oh, we're probably going to get 96%. Nope, not yet. Oh, we're going to hold it all. Nice. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this harvester so far. It's been doing a killer job. I think it was well worth it. It saved us a lot of time from having to harvest with that, uh, the little new Holland, the little, little yellow one. That is a nice starter harvester, though. Oh, yeah, we're going to hold it all. Nice. Might as well extend the pipe now. There we go. And let's go unload all this canola. What's the price looking like on canola right now? Still pretty decent. We actually might take a load over and sell it after we put the harvester away. Just to get a little bit more money in. I'm not sure if, it's, if the $2,192 per liter is the best price we've had on canola yet, but it's definitely not bad. What the heck's going on with that trailer? You see that? Look at that, it's like spasming. You see that graphical glitch in there? That's weird. It's never done that before. Huh. Let's ignore it. Just don't look at it from that angle. Everything's better. Haha, -ha. now that the canola's filled the bottom, it looks fine. Alright, so, on our way back over, once the auger gets put back in, we will close our harvester up, and now we'll drive back over here, put our header on the trailer, now that's, I didn't know that the grass would grow back before you cleaned up all the grass, that's interesting.
This map's cool. I think it's pretty. It may not have all the bells and whistles that some of the other other maps have. But I think that's kind of the point of it. It's not supposed to be in the middle of a city or anything. So in a very underdeveloped area. It has its whole own feel to it. So whoever created this map, if you're watching, you did a good job. The only the only thing I have to say about the entire map is change the spawn location of items and put them in the in the parking lot instead of inside the shop. That's my only critique. And it's constructive criticism, not not ragging on your map, man. But if you've watched other people, you'll see why. Alright, so, we'll use our magic teleporting ability. Go grab our favorite. And to end off this episode, what we'll do is we'll go sell us a load of canola. Maybe we can make back the money that we spent on our little bee shed thing. What is it called? Hold on. This is important, okay? Just so I quit calling it the wrong thing. What is this thing called? A bee house. Alright. Make back the money we spent on our bee house. I'm sure we can with this canola. We're gonna have one full load. That'd be nice. Canola. There we go. And where is it selling for? Mouse and keyboard, let's click it. It's selling at the train station mill. Let's tag it. Let's go to the map. Where's the train station? Oh, over here. No! Oh, no. That one's a pain in the butt. You guys ready for this? You guys are going to laugh. This little tractor has such a hard time pulling it up. You know what? We're actually going to use the... Uh, uh, mm, mm. Yeah, we'll use this just so you guys can see. Remember, this thing has like 150 horsepower. I think I was using the other tractor before, and so it was even slower than this. It struggles hard to get up this hill right here. At least it did. I think it slowed me down to like 2-3 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, see, here we go. We're creeping. <laughs> hey, we're going nine. That's better. Eight. No. Okay, we should, yeah, we should be gaining speed again. Heh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, the last time it was bad. Before I upgraded the, the horsepower. This thing crawled up here. And we kind of go off-roading up here a little bit. I'm sure that there's a way we could follow the road. We'll do it legally. How about that? Think. Oh, no, you can't. You can't do it legally, see? You have to go off the road. Or you just go across the bridge here. And then you have to go all the way down there. So we're just going to break the law a little bit here. Make our own road. Alright, let's see how much money we get from this. Should be good. See if I can't. There we go. You guys should be able to see it better now. Forty-six grand. Not bad. Not bad at all. That what? Bought two bee houses? Yeah, we could even buy another bee house now. I think what we'll do when we get back to the farm is we will pay off a bit of our loan. And that way when we do sell our horses, we'll have so more of that will be profit.
Oh, come on, make it up here, dude. There we go. I like the little pathways that have been put here. They're like not main roads, but they're just like little gravel roads. There's gravel, right? Yeah. Little back roads. And there's our horses in the distance. I could have got eight horses, but then the amount of time you take riding those every day. Man, oh man. It's a lot of work. We'll just park this one up here. Like... So. And let's let's pay off some of our loan. So we have a $150,000 loan. Let's pay off 50000 of it. So we're going to be down to 100000 Whoops. I paid off fifty five. So we're down to seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, here let's park this back up where it should be. Get everything all organized so we can start off tomorrow in a good spot. There we go. Eh, it's not perfectly straight. Here, let's straighten it up. There we go. Alright, and that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I know we didn't do too much, but we did get some accomplished. We harvested one field. We harvested one field and planted another, and planted it with more stuff. And we got ourselves what? What was it? Nine bells? Nine bells of straw? And we got to use some of our new equipment. And we got a bee house. Let's end the episode over here. You hear those bees? I don't know if you guys will, if it will come through very good. They're buzzing, man. Look at them going off in the distance. Can you guys see that? That's cool. Very cool. Hmm. Alright, guys. Well, once again, sorry. I got distracted. But thanks for so much for watching. And, as always, you guys have a wonderful day.